Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic for this training session on upgrade. Basically in this topic we'll be talking about the system landscape strategy. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we will see that what is your normal landscape and for an upgrade what is the landscape which is required. So let's get started. Let's get to to this particular screen where you can see that you have your development system DEV you have your quality seed which is QAS you have your production seed okay this is your simple system landscape that you are having for development basically you have your development instance that is existing version before upgrade QAS quality instance basically it's a copy of production instance in the recent past then you have production instance that is real time live production system and you can have any other system like sandbox and etc so deciding a upgrades landscape strategy is the first step to be completed before starting an upgrade it has to be given due importance before deciding or preparing an upgrade plan so we should make sure that we have a right strategy in place for performing an upgrade depending on which system we are going to upgrade first which order we are going to upgrade first are we going to upgrade the development system or sandbox system or create a copy of production and then upgrade that system so let's see let's get all this question answered in our subsequent slides okay here you can see this is a development system so de1 here you can see that this system is created as a copy of your dev system so you are creating a fourth system over here that is you, the seed is DE1 which is a copy of your dev system. So DE1 will become the new development environment for upgrade. So this is the system that will be upgraded first. This is your normal support landscape, normal project landscape over here but for upgrade this is the first upgrade system that we are going to upgrade it and this is created as a copy of using a system refresh or system copy from the development system so upgrade and unicode conversion of de1 is carried out so this is the system that we where we do the unicode conversion and the system that we upgrade it okay we carry out the spdd and spau on this system okay remediation of impacted objects due to upgrade and unicode unicode conversion is carried out on de1 so whatever the spdd spau activity is there we'll see in our subsequent slide what is SPDD SPAU but basically what it is is you are finding out which objects which standard SAP supplied object is modified in the clients environment in the customers environment in the environment that you are upgrading so once we find out those repository objects those dictionary objects then we make a call we decide and we find out do we need to use or adapt the new modifications or do we need to reset to original that is we just use it whatever it has come so we have two options during SPDD SPAU that is we just make sure we just say that okay I don't need uh, any of the modifications supplied by SAP I'll just give with the enhancement with the enhancement that is customized customization that I have done in this particular client or I can make a call that I will upgrade it and later I can make it and later I can make changes there and there is third option as well that we can merge the two things basically we can see we can adapt whatever we want to adapt and can leave the rest of the stuff okay so basically that is a merge operation so remediation of impacted objects due to upgrade and unicode conversion is carried out in this system the impacted roles will be adjusted using su25 in this system only so soft freeze starts from day de1 is upgraded to sap erp 6.0 so that is your soft freeze basically that is the time you will your new upgraded system the development system is available Okay, all the developments from dev will be manually retrofitted to DE1 and unit testing will be carried out in DE1. So just take note that what happens when you build a new 
dev system you upgrade the upgrade that particular dev system you make sure that spdd spau is done in the new system you make sure that the role adjustment is done using su25 in this system okay and we just put a freeze and after the upgrade is done we'll just manually retrofit all the new developments from dev into de1 system okay so that is about the development system let's go to the next system which is quality upgrade so quality upgrade you can see that this is your new quality system new system that we have built which is built as a copy of qas system okay so qas will be created as a copy of qa1 is created as a copy of qas or we can do or we can copy it from production as well so the recommended practice is to copy it from the production and this will become eventually become the quality environment for the production upgrade the reason why we copy it from the production is that so whatever changes or whatever structure and the environment is there in production you get the same environment so that any development anything which has not gone into production we simulate that environment of the actual production and we upgraded the copy of the production so that we can go through all the issues all the things that need to be fixed in the production system so that we go through one cycle of fixing what will be required in the production system okay so here you can see that the upgrade and unicode conversion will be carried out in your qa1 system transports related spdd and spau remediation of objects security roles using su25 that was done in de1 will be moved from de1 to qa1 so what is happening is that you the transports that you have created during spdd spau is transported into qa1 the security roles that you have modified or adjusted using su25 is also transported to QA1 system. Now the hard freeze starts from the day testing commences in QA1. Only the emergency transports will be allowed to production. Okay, so basically we just put a freeze on on any new changes which is happening. Basically, it has go has to go through very rigorous tests and rigorous uh, process so that the number of changes going is minimized drastically. So all the external systems will be connected to QA1. Okay, now we just connect all the interfaces and everything to QA1 to make sure that this works fine. All the interfaces works fine. Okay, business process testing, integration testing, and user acceptance testing is carried out in this QA1 system. SBX, which is a test system, will be refreshed from production and used for mock upgrades. Okay, so in the previous slide we saw that there is a SBX system also. Okay, so there is a SBX system also. So in case if you have sandbox systems, we can use them for mock upgrades. Okay, mock cutovers will be carried out on SBX and downtime will be estimated. So that is about the quality upgrades. Next, this is basically the product upgrade of the production system. Okay, so here we are using the system switch upgrade method. So QAS will be refreshed from from production and retained for two to three months as a reference copy okay now transport path from dev to qas to production will be shut down okay so the requisite support packs are installed on the entire landscape two weeks before go live to start prepare activities for two weeks entire landscape will be on higher support pack okay production will be upgraded to erp 6.0 all the cutover activities are completed. Business validation will be carried out on production system. Production that is PRD goes live on ERP 6.0. Production support path will become D1, QA1 and production PRD. Okay, so basically this is how we plan the landscape migration and we plan how the transition from one landscape to another landscape takes place from say older version to newer version of upgraded system okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day